event is the Prime Minister is here to present a cheque for the completion of the restoration of the Theatre Royal. It that in a couple of years' time we will have a fully operational theatre again that will seat about 380 people, which in addition to the Suter and the new independent theatre, which I'm very excited about, and I had to say that of course because it's you, uh, it's going to be wonderful. All we need then is a a thousand seat um, large performance centre and we'll be set for life. We're going to keep this sweet. I'd like to uh, welcome someone very important to the stage right now. <laughs> Thank you so much, loyal subjects, Republicans, loyalists, one and all. <laughs> it gives me great pleasure to be in this historic building on this auspicious occasion. I haven't finished. I haven't. Well, this is an absolute outrage. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, welcome the Minister of Internal Affairs, Rick Barker. There's no doubt in my mind at all that without the Prime Minister's support, without the Prime Minister's leadership, without her assistance, we would not have such a fund. Such a fund exists simply because she saw such a need and such a need to develop and to maintain some of our precious uh, objects and, and uh, <coughs> buildings in our community uh, that we're here today. So without further ado, I'd like to ask the Prime Minister, Helen Clark, to come forward and to make a short presentation to you, which I'm sure you'll all find very, very interesting. visit into the Theatre Royal, but I can assure you its reputation has preceded it. I'm told it's hosted everyone from Vic Rumen to Gilbert and Sullivan, from wrestling and boxing bouts to some of the earliest movies of the 20th century. And its heritage significance, of course, is one of the reasons that we are here today to make an important announcement. Built in 1878, it is the oldest wooden theatre in Australasia, which until relatively recently I understand was in continuous use, and possibly in the Southern Hemisphere. When it was built, Nelson's population was 6,000 people. And people had the vision to build a theatre which would seat 800 people. The population now, of course, of the city is around 45,000, with 80,000 on the border of Nelson Tasman region. On the opening night, 129 years ago, a thousand people crowded in for the opening performance. Heaven knows what the fire rigs said at the time. I suspect there weren't any. And were those not the days when people could smoke in the theatres? The mind boggles. This stage production, I'm told, was thought to be the melodrama Don Caesar de Bazan, followed by the screaming burlesque The Bell of the Bali Moor. The mind does boggle. Since then, there were plays, operas, musicals, children's concerts, the ballet, speeches and presentations, dances, concerts, those boxing and wrestling tournaments, the NZSO, the Royal New Zealand Ballet, the movies, and even a talk by the late Ruby Alley. I've also read reports suggesting that the odd performance occurred by a ghost in row N. But that's part of the folklore of the theatre. 1908, the motion pictures were shown here, and the power was provided by the Nelson City Council's road roller, parked outside, <laughs> with a belt from the main drive of the roller to a dynamo to drive the projector. And you see, the Nelson Historic Theatre Trust took over from the Rep Society in 05, and as we all know, worked on a plan for redevelopment. 
And all over New Zealand, we see communities increasingly recognising the great importance of conserving our built heritage, because places like this are so important in giving us a sense of place of what went before, a sense of where we fit into things today. But the good news I bring today is that the Nelson Theatre Royal is the lucky last to receive the last dollars that were in the Significant Base Community Project Fund the Government directly administered. And I have today, uh, with the aid of uh, my colleagues here, to roll out the cheque for $2.940 million. This means the project's going ahead and all those wonderful hopes that the Theatre Trust has developed for the renovation, rebirth and life of the theatre will be able to be realised and I really look forward to coming back and enjoying a performance in here one day. Not the boxing if you don't mind, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe something from the Rep Society. Thank you very much. The theatre will will continue to be a touchstone to Nelson's past, present and future. Over 120 years, the stage of theatre has been graced with performers, both local and international, from ballerinas and tutus to great New Zealand artists such as Dave Donald. <laughs>